And here we are now, 59 minutes away from the closing bell, but less than 30 minutes away from the IRS coming before all of you to promise somehow that your taxpayer data will be protected. Because up until now, there's been this gaping hole that cyber thieves have walked right through. The IRS is admitting its security has a significant deficiency. This is 13,000 suspect returns, I didn't even mention this yet, were filed for which the IRS actually issued monetary refunds. And this isn't the only breach. Some seven breaches have occurred since just last September. In advance of the announcement, we're bringing in Peter Tran. He's senior director for RSA's Worldwide Advanced Cyber Defense Practice. These are the guys behind those secure ID tokens, and they have shut down some of the biggest breaches in the U.S. Peter, what could the government, what can the IRS possibly say to our viewers and us today that will make you, as an expert in this field, better? That they are stepping up the game because literally this speaks to the sophistication of the attacks that are hitting the government now. They have sophisticated programs in place now, but the table stakes are not enough. We work day in, day out with breaches for our customers and we pounding the desk. Hmm. Early detection and response is the key through security analytics, not just the walls that try to keep them from coming in. There are more ways in your network than there are ways out. So the key is to prevent them from leaving with their crown jewels. Think about it this way. You have millions of sticks of dynamite out there, some with short fuses, some with long fuses, and you light them all at one shot. That's sheerly overwhelming. We want to detect sure. and respond before those fuses are even lit. Peter, we're doing something wrong, okay? Just in the last two months, you've got the Office of Personnel Management, you've got the Department of Defense, we have the Army, the U.S. Army, along with the IRS, all admitting to these breaches. Listen, I'm not just blaming the government. We've got every company in America fighting back these cyber thieves. You said, Liz, the key is, okay, articulate what that is, that every single operation in America that's doing good things for the world, what do they need to do starting today? First off, let me give you a bit of context, Liz. So out of a sheer scale, in the last 12 months alone, there have been reported over 300 million variations of malicious code floating on the World Wide Web. That's just a reported amount. Oh. Overwhelming. So think about it. Water's coming in your basement. You're taking a bucket. You're, you're slinging it over. <laughs> and you can't keep up. The foundation's going to crack. So, eventually, so the government is the new fertile ground for the attackers to cultivate the data they want. It's right. high quality, super, super rich. So the key, when I speak to the key, is we're talking about before for weaponization before, think about millions of nodes on the World Wide Web keeps us together, okay. keeps business going, but they all can be weapons. When you listen to this news conference as you watch Fox Business, because we will get it to our viewers right away, what do you need to hear? Do you even care about motive or where these hacks and these breaches are originating? Or do you just want to hear, look, we're going to shut down these holes, we're going to fill these cracks? I care primarily about the tools and tactics of where they're going to address their security program next. The, the why and the how is important. The who is not so much because okay. we want to know why they're attacking and how they're attacking. Yeah, Let, let's just assume it's mostly the Russians and the Chinese, but it's great to have you, Peter. Peter Tran is with us here from RSA, this huge data breach expertise company.